All right, guys, well, our first hope of the day. We've seen quite a few of these guys before. This is a small-eyed snake. Now, this is actually, I found this guy and he's in a very similar space to a couple of the other ones I've found. I want to get too close because these guys are highly venomous and would send you into a hospital. There's even been reports of these guys killing people. So yeah, I don't want to get too close. But look at that. It's just so cool. But I'll have to check some pictures because these guys, oh, it's very feisty. This guy I found in a very similar environment and not far very away from where I found another one a couple of weeks ago. So I'll check if this guy is the same guy. Oh, he's just coming around my foot there. Look at that. It's the highly venomous small-eyed snake. Just went right between my feet. That's so cool. Try to get a few good shots of this guy, compare some photos, and then send him on his way. That's so cool. He's just heading under there into a bit of leaf litter, but we'll leave him alone and see what else we can find. That's so cool. All right, guys, well, look at that. This is what is known as the blue tongue lizard. And now this guy's quite feisty. What he's doing is he's puffing himself up, making himself look bigger, ready to fight. And that blue tongue is actually the side of defense. Back away, you don't want to mess with me. That's so cool. Now these guys, probably Australia's most iconic lizard. If I get too close, oh, there. Jeez, look at that. You just had to go at the camera. Not actually that close, but he's probably the same length. Yeah, the same length as that small head snake we found a couple of minutes earlier. But these guys, yeah. Very, very common around southeast Queensland. Can be found in garden beds, anything like that. Even throughout the city of Brisbane and the Gold Coast, which is really, really cool. But a lot of these guys are actually killed because they look very, very similar to death adders. All right, guys, well, here's one final look how that blue tongue lizard, and as you can see, he's not letting me get behind him. Making sure that he has the upper ground here, but I'm not gonna hurt him. But yeah, we'll let this guy go, see what else we can find. That's so cool. That's a lizard and a snake in what? Five minutes? Pretty close to each other as well. But yeah, we'll let you go, buddy. See what else we can find. Don't worry, we're not gonna hurt you. Please don't attack the camera. All right, guys, well, it is night and I just saw a water rat, a native water rat just creep up through there. I thought it was a platypus at first, but yeah, saw so that. And then on the other side of here, I just saw a turtle dip in through there. So yeah, we've just gone down the creek at night. It's decently, to, there's a little bit of a rush of water coming through. So hopefully there'll be amphibians and reptiles clinging to some of these pipes, desperately trying to escape the water. So yeah, we'll see what we can find. We'll let you know if we find anything, but yeah. I have a feeling this will be a cool night. All right, guys. Well, first little find is this beautiful, young Eastern water dragon. These guys are probably the most common lizard found over Southeast Queensland. These guys are found all over the city of Brisbane. And it's just insane how common these guys are. So not the best find for the night, but he's here clinging to a log. So he's not going to be rushed through that drain right there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We'll get a few photos of this guy just because he's in such a good position and he's got a bit of colouring on him. But yeah, then we'll leave him alone and keep on looking. Oh, look at that. He just scurried up. All right, guys. Well, this eastern water dragon is slightly bigger. This is juvenile, probably a couple of years old. You can see he's actually got a bit of colouring. If I try to focus it here, right next to the alleyway. Look at that, it's just so cool. Look at that, 
is actually a really beautiful one.